a friend of mine called me and told me he don't really understand the transfer switch he said he knew the switch would be switching from one to the other why can't i just use the consumer unit when they take the power put off the main breaker and engage this this has a right now it's on automatic when you flick it this way it's manual the reason the real reason for having a transfer switch which i didn't explain in the, my previous video it's to protect the linesmen the men working on the utility poles if you don't have a transfer switch and you have the breaker when they take the power you put off this one manually you put off the other one you put on the other one you put on your inverter what happens now when you're not home your wife or your children although you go through the procedures with them you'll mark it down have a notice printed but we all are human beings and we are prone to make mistakes they would come if you use two breakers they would come and forget all they concern about is they want current they want to watch the television or go on the computer they put off they put on the inverter and forget to turn off the main breaker then what happens now your inverter comes on and it sends the current back to the utility service you don't know if there is a fault if a pole is damaged and fall down an accident but you would be sending electricity down now remember when the electricity leaves the utility service it leaves at a high rate i don't know exactly but let's say it leaves at um 6000 kv that's the main lines and the free phase line the free lines on top of the pole then the current would drop down to maybe 600 volts when it going to residential areas it would step down that's why you see there are different transformers on the poles that that is step down transformers to go to the house if it's 110 or 220 you'd have a transformer to step down that current now mind you your inverter either puts out 110 or 220 you're sending that current back if whoever turns on the inverter breaker and don't turn off the main breaker <clears throat> the current then leaves your house goes to the 220 or 110 end of the transformer when it comes out to the other end it steps it up to 300 volts then it would travel down the line it would step it up to 6000 kV the linesmen on the line although they would have a ground these days they're grounding both the front and the back of the fault the fault is in the middle so either end is grounded but you stand a chance of killing 
the linesman or linesman on the pole trying to repair that fault. You would also be sending current back to certain homes. You have this automatic transfer switch or you have a manual. I ordered a manual but it's coming from China. It, it would take some time. When with the manual you put off they take the power you put off one you put on the other one you cannot do both at the same time it has to be one at a time with this if it's not in manual mode and automatic the moment they take the power this will switch to the inverter and send current there is no way with this the current would be able to go back to the utility provider or to the pole so that is the reason why you need a transfer switch if it's not automatic you can have a manual the manual it's two breakers when i do get it i'll do a video with it it's two breakers one is like that the other one is like that when they do take the current you flick that one and this one but you cannot have both of them in the same position it has to be one up one down so for those of you who are putting inverters or generators to power up your house, you need these things for your protection and the protection of the linesmen, the people working on the utility pole. This is it for this video. If you find it was informative, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos. Goodbye and Thank you. Until the next one.